What's up everybody? This is Grant. Just thought I'd give you a walk around of how I like to rig my 2012 Hobie Mirage Pro Angler 14. The way I have it rigged now is for drift fishing, specifically for drifting for blue cats. You can see from the front view, it gives me a really wide spread. I've got the two Yak Attack rod holders on one inch ram balls on the gear tracks on the side and I've got the center rod holder is on a ram rod holder that is mounted on a one inch ram ball in the Hobie wedge. The main thing I had in mind when I was you know, really thinking out how I wanted to design and have everything laid out in this kayak was versatility. As you can see, the name on my kayak is uh, the Fly Fanatic. I do a good amount of fly fishing out of this boat and with all the stuff I've got on there right now you know, I wouldn't be able to do much of it at all. The line would be tangled up and everything. So the thing I thought of was I was going to run everything on the rail system. The ram balls slide right into the rails so in just a matter of seconds I could take all the rod holders right off. This rod holder is just the standard ram system. You just untwist it and just lift it off. So, as you can see now, a clear platform. The only thing left, this is what I use for rigging with my camera. This is one of the camera mounts I use. Just the standard tripod screw. This is the Yak Attack dog bone. Same thing though, it'll slide right off. So. I have that nice clear platform be able to do all the fly fishing I need. But now, the way we like to rig our cameras, Josh and I like to have at least one or two cameras a piece. So I like this dog mode because it allows me to swing it wherever I need it. And also I can take it off of this ram ball and move it to the center and have it facing me or I could have it from more of a side angle view facing me. The main camera mount that I've been using is this one that Josh and I came up with. It's on a roller pole, and more or less, it's just a standard tripod mount on top of a roller pole. Allows us to extend it up when we need to, and it stays pretty snug in that rod holder. And also, you could use it more like a camera boom to be able to swing the camera over to whatever you need to see. You can see I've got the Hobie live well. I made one small modification. I removed the pump and I slid on a 90 degree PVC elbow on it. And then I added a arm. That just allows the water to spray out. And instead of just coming right out the bottom of the pump and just circulating water, not only does it circulate, but the water falling on top of itself allows it to really aerate. I don't always use this live well as a live well it makes a great crate too it's already got three rod holders on the back if you take the battery out it doesn't weigh anything so it's real useful for that and it's completely watertight i've got the eight foot yak attack parking pole that i usually just use on my anchor trolley but i also found i tied this length the rope to that handle I'll stick the stakeout pole down through there just for a quick anchor. My net will either be in the back of the live well or in one of these flush mounts. It just depends whether or not I have a rod in there or not. The some benefits of this kayak, um, just a massive amount of storage. You've got this front hatch that's just ridiculously big. It's where my, my uh, all my tackle stays in transit to wherever I'm fishing. My, my you know, random soft plastics, life jacket, you name it, lunch, whatever you want to keep. It's it's pretty much your dry storage. It's just the barrage drive for the boat. It would drop down in that hole while you're fishing. This is the storage right between your legs. You can put two Play-Doh 360 boxes and one of the smaller rigging boxes that Plato makes. I usually use the waterproof ones just because this is kayak fishing, so chance of stuff's gonna get wet. 
Um, I keep my pliers, my fish grippers, leader material. I usually use this divider just because I can keep when I'm fishing saltwater log spoons and uh, popping corks and stuff like that in there. All my soft plastics and everything I usually keep right in there. I love the seat on this boat. Really comfortable. It's like sitting in a lawn chair. That's probably one of my favorite features. Now, the thing that most people always ask about is these rod holders. You know, how effective do the rod tubes in the kayak work? I mean, this is a seven foot rod right here. Allows you to be able to store it completely out of the way. And they go in easy as pie. Spinning and bait casting rods, they both work just fine. And like I said, when I'm doing my fly fishing out of this boat, I usually have everything out of the way. Sometimes I'll even take the Mirage Drive out and put the Mirage Drive back here with the live well. And that'll just allow me to have a completely flat platform. Nothing to tangle on my line or anything like that. Now when you buy this boat, it does come with a paddle. It is a two-piece paddle. I have both pieces, but I rarely take both with me. I usually only take one, almost like a single canoe paddle. Uh, that just allows me to, you know, if I ever get in a tight spot, I can turn around. Or when I'm drift fishing, I can slow myself down just enough. Uh, but like you see, it's got that paddle clip right here. So I can just throw it back there and keep it completely out of the way. Nothing really to worry about. But just a list of the stuff I've got on here. Two of the 20-inch gear tracks from Yak Attack. I've got the standard Hobie wedge, but it's the one with the one inch ram ball, not the half inch. You want the one inch if you're going to be putting a rod holder on there because it's a lot beefier, give you a little bit better grab. I've got two of the standard Yak Attack all purpose rod holders. They'll hold conventional rods, spinning rods, fly rods, whatever you need. And then I've got one of the new 2014 rod holders, a little bit beefier. I just wanted it for the center just because if a rod gets yanked down, I don't want the rod to slam into the kayak. So I want a rod holder that's going to be able to keep it up just fine. That one goes right there. Other than that, that's about it. I don't usually carry a crate like I said before. I use this live well as a crate. Um, even when I'm not keeping bait, it, it makes a great crate. You can fit a Play-Doh 360 box in the top with no problem. So you can store tackle boxes back there. You can store soft plastics, whatever you need. And the benefit of that, it's, I mean, it's better than any crate because it's watertight. You don't have to worry about that at all. And as long as you don't have the battery in here, it's really not that heavy. I think it's only a couple pounds, so not a whole lot more than any crate. And with that, that's about it. If y'all have any questions, uh, just shoot us a comment let us know i hope this review was helpful and see you guys on the water thanks